What's going on everybody? This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog. Right now it's about 6.46, uh, Monday, June 21st. So what I'm going to do right now is give you my hands-on in-depth review of iPhone OS 4.0 as it was officially released today. So I got 10 minutes. I'm going to be talking really fast, going over a lot of the new features. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. So here we go. did is just um, updated uh, the phone from a fresh re restore there so everything's brand new there are over 100 new features in this release for the new software and um, a lot of the ones the big ones that are noteworthy to me are multitasking support for third-party applications um, folders are another big one home screen wallpapers uh, there have been mail improvements um, a lot of stuff with the camera has changed like a five times. Uh, digital zoom, tap to focus during video recording, um, ability to sync faces from iPhoto, and also geotagged photos in the iF and the camera app. Um, not only that, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, <laughs> updates to the uh, mobile me calendar and calendars in general. Um, searchable SMS, MMS. These are, I'm, I'm just going down this list right now, so I'm talking really fast. So forgive me. Enhanced location privacy. Um, what else we got? Support for Bluetooth, that's a big one, that's for 3GS only. Oh, and by the way, I'm running a 3GS right now. This is um, a 3GS phone. For those that are running a 3G or a first gen, you can't even get it for the first gen, I don't think, but for your 3G, um, wallpapers disabled, multitasking is uh, disabled, a lot of stuff are disabled, so go ahead and check that out when you have the time. Um, Exchange Server 2010, that's going to be big for business people. Uh, people using Exchange, of course, are going to find a benefit to that as they probably do everything through Exchange. Uh, and then more than 1,500 new developer APIs and also some bug, fix bug fixes. So let's just go through the top. The number one thing probably in this release is going to be uh, multitasking. All right, so how you bring up the multitasking, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it, but it's just that. You double tap the home button and up comes everything that's currently running and you can still run. The big thing for me is Pandora. Um, I don't have any music on here. Even when I didn't have my phone restored, there was no music on here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and go into the app store here and download um, Pandora and see if that works in the background while putting around on your phone. So another big thing for me is threaded emails. I'm sure you guys have heard of that as well. So what I'm going to do right here is type in Pandora. And I butchered that spelling. Um, so we're going to download it. New version 3.1, I believe is that what, excuse me, that's what that said. Yep, 3.1 iPhone OS 4 tested. Sign in with our iTunes account. And off we um, go. So while that's downloading, um, wherever it's going to be downloading at, let's go through some of these some of these things. As you guys may or may not know, there's folders for this. So if you just click and press on an application and then hold it over another application, it creates a um, a folder for you. You guys probably know about a lot of these features, so I'm not going to dwell into some of the ones that you may or may not already know about. What I'm mostly concerned about is this Pandora guy right here. So we're going to go ahead and launch Pandora. It's probably going to ask my login. So we got Pandora up and running. Um, search alphabetically. Let's just go to someone who I'm sure a lot of people like. It's good old Drake. So we're going to start playing this right now. We're going to flip out of it and just go around the phone and see if it runs in the background. So that's cool. We got Pandora, Oop, Pandora going. So let's get out of there. Peace. And look at that. It runs just as advertised. You can do everything that you want to. Check all your emails. Um, and just go around your business. This is awesome. So if you, I believe you double tap the home button, it brings up the iPod controls. But when Pandora is playing, it will be Pandora controls. So you can pause it. Amazing. Open up Pandora. Look how fast that is. This is really fast. This is ridiculous. Let's just go ahead and pop up here real quick. Let's go to a website a lot of people are probably familiar with, such as InGadget. If I can spell. We'll go to InGadget.com. And things are running in the background. Oh, I want to go back to Pandora. Boom. Right there. Oh, wait. No, I want to go back to InGadget. Right there. 
This is awesome. Everything's running great. Okay, let's move on from that. That works great. Um, another big feature is VoIP apps can now receive and maintain calls in the background or when devices are asleep. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any VoIP kind of service such as Skype or anything, but if you guys want to check that out, please do. And let me know how that works out for you. So I'm going to go in here and pause the music. Um, threaded emails is a big thing. Um, I especially email a lot. I like to get my emails here and now, and when I do have them, I don't have an email account set up on here right now, but I did test the Goldmaster version of iPhone OS 4, and threaded emails are awesome. Basically, it shows you um, a number in the, e in the email kind of subject area of how many back and forths you've gone. So if you've talked back and forth with somebody selling something on Craigslist or just chatting in general, you've got like three or four different conversations going on with that same person and it shows them all there. You can actually click on the email then it goes into kind of like a threaded category and shows you all of your conversations. That's huge. So another big thing is the camera app and the five times optical zoom, I'm sorry, digital zoom as well as geotagging. So if we just click on the photo there once while in the photo, you can zoom in and out. And that's pretty cool. It does get pretty pixelated and kind of blown up looking, but that's fine. Uh, one thing that I noticed with the GM version is that pictures take pictures really, really fast. Check this out. Like, that's super fast. And if you go into your iPhoto library or camera library, you get a little places tab there and it shows a geotag or a pin of where you took the picture at. Now there's my living area so you guys can stalk me now, but that's no big deal. Whatever, I trust you. Another thing is books, iBooks. Um, I've seen a lot of people on Engadget and whatnot having issues with this, so we're going to go ahead and try to download it real quick. Uh, oh, nope, there it is. That was a lie. Just kidding. Anyway, while that's going on and doing its thing, there it goes. Um, what else do we have? Wallpapers. As you can see, the famous like water wallpaper. Choose the picture that I just took from my camera roll and use that as the background. We'll use it for both. And my time is up. And let's just check out our background. There it is. That's awesome. Looks great. So far, iPhone OS 4.0, the official release is really snap or snappy. It's really fast. Things work amazingly quick. Um, there are just so many stinking like features over 100. I have a list here, and I can't even put a dent in it. Um, basically, if you want me to show you something in particular just hit me up I'll go ahead and make a video of it I'll take like a collection of, of things like maybe five features make a video and show you what all is new but I'm gonna go ahead and add this list to my description bar on the bottom showcasing everything that got fixed or updated but the main things are multitasking um, audio apps to play in the background that's huge folders um, home screen mail improvements um, photo, five times zoom, all that tap to focus while video recording, and ability to sync faces from iPhoto. Check it out if you haven't already. I'm sure you have. But if you have any questions, hit me up. I will answer all of them. That's all I got. This is Tim from Tim's Tech Blog checking out of here. Hi, right, peace.